Koya ya fonya men na kulo ni fama joy na message mbese football ni left men sa enjoy baraka big sam eh alaji nyasi ala yes um you are representing serekunda is here uh tell us um what advice na am um for the fans especially serekunda is although i must say am serekunda is not known for being troublemakers but yet still you can still have some advice for us just look at the ambience over there very beautiful huh we are missing this at the stadium for now we, that's gunjur gunjur fans club <laughs> <That's> gunjur, <Yeah? laughs> okay thank you very much yeah. much ms uh, members of the panel uh, but first and foremost before i go in in detail of what i want to say uh, we need to thank sky bank uh, it will not be fair for us to make this gathering here without naming the sponsors. Sky Bank are the sponsors of this year's Super Navidad, uh, and we need to thank them very well uh, because they pumped in a lot of money to make so that uh, they also chip in their social corporate responsibility. Uh, that also goes in developing football. Uh, what I want to see here is uh, we in Serekunda is, as we all know, uh, when this problem erupted uh, some time ago, uh, people called and tell us that uh, it, the other zones should learn from Serekunda is uh, what we do is we are, uh, I, uh, I am the first vice president there. Uh, we have a committee and the committee is selected by the people and the people are the community. Uh, we are from the community mm -hmm. and all the fans that normally turn out to watch games are people from the community. Uh, if you are people from the community and you are selected as a leader, I think you need to get that responsibility and make sure you talk to your people. Uh, that is why when we were informed even lately yesterday, uh, we were able to gather a host of our fans to come on board here. Uh, there are people we know, we chat with, uh, we normally socialize with. So it, is, it will be very easy for us to just keep them on board and make so we tell them what we want. And they also understand that football cannot go, cannot go without discipline. Mm -hmm. So I'm also here on behalf of the organizing committee, but I'm a member of the organizing committee. <coughs> uh, when this problem erupted, many people were be calling. I was monitoring many registers, and some of them are going, it's, it, the organizing committee should be blamed, but uh, we will be blamed because we are the organizers, but I don't think so we will be blamed. Uh, because coming into last year was our force, this organizing committee was being taxed to take the responsibility of organizing this organization. Uh, I think we did quite a very good job coming into this year also we've learned lessons from last year uh, then that this year we reorganize ourselves try to do it much better uh, i don't think people can say that the organization was poor mm. however good you organize there must be room for improvement uh, that we know uh, we will all we normally learn lessons as it goes so definitely what happened in lemon that let, what happened in birkama between lemon and banjul is what prompted this issue uh, for matches to be halted and taken back to the independent stadium where zonal wars for split. Uh, a lot of people are crying. Uh, zones are also crying, not because of the money, but because of the person at the excitement that you will get when playing football in the local grounds. Um, coming into the stadium is difficult. It's far. Uh, you will not get what you normally get at the zones. So we've learned lessons. Uh, and I know we work in very hard, as Man said, with the security to make sure we move the zonals back to where it belongs, that is, in, the, in our local playing grounds. So what we need is just to keep on sensitizing our people, because a lot of them are now being affected. They will want to watch matches, but they cannot travel to get to the independent stadium. I think all of us have learned lessons, so it will be very good that we move these matches back to the stadium. And the organizing committee, the security, the media also play a part in make so we make it a trouble-free supernatural. All right, thank you very much, um, Alaji. Uh, we have heard um, from Alaji. I believe um, some of the zones uh, can learn from Serekuna is as well. Um, next uh, on Alaji is Mustafa. Yeah, Mustafa. it's Mustafa from yeah, Mustafa, from, um, from, Bik from Bikawa. What do you have to say? Yes, uh, just rightly my colleagues have rightly mentioned. I think. <clears throat> all the zones we bear me with us that it's their interest for this support now to go back to the back to the zones mm -hmm. for a different reasons. But uh, as Ibrahim Riley mentioned earlier, uh, uh, security is very very prominent when you're dealing with youth. You understand? 
me, my advice will go to the fans. The fans, let them maintain high discipline. Because in football, you must have lose, win, or draw. That must be. And if you, if you check, it's 12 teams. And only one team will happen to be the victors. So if you put that in your mind, definitely it not, it not warrant to people to go and push and pull, fight one another. Because we are all Gambians. At the end of the day, anybody scouted there for the national team is representing the Gambia. And I think the zonal, the main purpose is to scout talents. So definitely it shouldn't warrant us to, 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 to harass one another or to insult one another or to abuse one another. I think it's not, it's not worth that. And definitely, you know, just Alaji has rightly stated, uh, going to the stadium definitely is not favoring the stone, uh, uh, favoring the zone in different reasons. Because, you know, the ambience, and I believe that this community football uh, is, is a big contributor to Gambian football. Because these players, at the moment, they see, they see people, they see fans gathered in, in large numbers. They can do extra. They can do extra for a reason. Because definitely the, the, the games we have in, in the stadium, I'm not saying that they are not good games. But back to, this, back to the zones, we see good football. Mm -hmm. Because these young boys, when they see the crowd, definitely they perform to their expectation. So definitely for me, in Birkama, we don't have fans problem. We compound our fans, we talk to them. Definitely they are very disciplined. We, we had this, 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 in, this information just when I was about to bed, my president, Basiru Bajo, called me, telling me that you have a, uh, uh, having a program at the, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the GRTS. When I just consult our fans club president, just matter of calling them and they, and they grumble. Since 10 o'clock, we, uh, we are assembled at, at Box Bar so that we can come. So I just want all fans to emulate Birkama's fans club. Definitely, they are very wonderful and they, 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 are, they are very disciplined. In fact, when Birkama lose, they don't, they don't, they don't violent. What they do, they, they bound back to us, the, 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 the executive of, of BISA, telling us that you don't, you don't do this, you don't do that, you don't, but not to throw stones and other things. Definitely, I, have, I want all zones to emulate Birkama's fans club. Thank you. Let me clap for Brikama for honoring my invitation at the 11th hour, traveling all the way from Brikama to come to the studios here at GRTS. And uh, like you said, um, I believe other zones are also listening and uh, they should also learn from Brikama. Uh, I believe if everybody wants to talk, we spend the, 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 the whole day here. Yeah, so um, let's, but let's uh, give uh, the mic to Bindongo uh, and then a uh, couple of orders then we go to the fans fans also yeah. we have Serekunda is and uh, we have Brikama I believe Bakau is also here mm. so maybe one should speak on behalf of each of the fans club uh, so that we save time okay thank you very much I'm not talking on behalf of the fans I am representing Brikama I'm an executive officer from Brikama okay. but like this forum is timely you know we all understand the situation where we find ourselves, whether you are a football enthusiast or not, whether you are part of football or whatsoever, we are all aware of this, this supernavitant taking place, the ambience that it started with, and the chaos that brought it to halt and all those stuff. But to me, and in anything that you do, once problem is identified, the problem is half solved. And like they said, the security aspect of it was lacking at the local grounds. Once that is identified, you know, adjustment was made to that security and make sure that all the centers meet those security requirements. There is no point playing at the independent stadium when we are not generating any revenue. As, as local organizing committee at our zone, we are losing a lot when margins are moved to the stadium. So this is why we make sure we organize ourselves, we comport our funds, we, we, we organize everything possible to make sure that games are played or our matches are played without any violence from our end. Okay. Because we can only guarantee our end. Okay. We, don't, we cannot take care of the other end. So my advice goes to the security committee. They've realized that the input that they need to put to adjust the security measures that need to be put in place at the independent stadium. They've made all those adjustments. Once that is identified, and games are played at the independent stadium without any security problem, if that same security is placed at the local grounds, to make sure that they all met the security needs at the grounds, the game will be back to the communities. Because to me, my understanding about Navetan is local community football. The Super Navetan is identified those major zones in the, in the country around the Combos here 